Here we go. We're coming for y'all. We're coming for y'all. Let's get this win. Break too early to start talking about uh, MVP for this year or midseason. You know, we've gotten to a point now where we start talking MVP at the start of the season. You know, yeah, right. people just love to talk sports at this point, especially when it comes to the most prestigious individual awards out there. Uh, I think you can make a case and sway some opinions with your play this time of year, but uh, I like to let it all play out before I start focusing on that. Things can change in a hurry, can't they, in a season? You yes, feel like they this, can. Like you say, let it play out. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, the professor in that last outing against the Spurs got the job done. He had an impressive number of points, and that scoring outburst set a new... And again for three. His shooting has been something that we rarely see, and he sustained it all year long. Well, it's been an incredible journey for him as he moves closer and closer to second on the all-time three-point leaderboard. From deep three-point range, that's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will return. We got it. We got it. Torch. He's definitely a factor in their offense, averaging 12 points a game. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Five to shoot. And the powerful one-handed slam. Such a smoothness and ease to the way Shea Gilgis Alexander plays. What a pretty drive. Makes it look easy. Sinks the three-pointer. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Last game, 26 points. Passes to Pakusevsky. to Gilgis Alexander. Horford sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Yep, it counts. Gilgis Alexander getting to the in-between game, taking what the defense gives him. Here's the professor. Boy, he was something else against San Antonio. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Guarded closer. Here's Horford. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Miami the other way. And going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. Should be an interesting game as these teams don't see a lot of each other being from different conferences. Right. They'll meet two times this year, East versus West. Let's see which team can enforce their style of play. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Torch. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Pakusevsky. Six on the shot clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Here's Horford. Great D that time from Adebayo. 
you know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Three-pointer. Good! Another from three. Up the ladder he goes as the threes continue to fall for him as they have all season long. And G.A. with his performance, he is now tied for second for most threes in a season. Horford the pass to Dort. No good there. Miami leading by 10. Pass to Hero from outside the arc. Thunder with the rebound. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. And that was a tough one. They expected to play well and did, just not well enough. You know what? At the end of the day, it wasn't as close as it should have been. There were lapses all night that led to the deficit they couldn't overcome. Akusevsky, the pass to Roby. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Dort misses. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. The pass to Butler. Here's the professor. Back to Butler. Fires the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. They've been excellent. Let's keep it up. And here now the Thunder, trailing by 13. Akusevsky, the Thunder with another miss. And here are the Heat. They're on a 17-4 run right now. And Jimmy Butler, good for three. Butler's got six. Their third three-pointer in a row. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Well, you know that he's going to find a way to get the ball in the basket no matter what D he's faced with. He averages about 31 and a half points a game. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. He's got six. Great pursuit from Gilgis Alexander. At six foot six, he should hit the offensive window. The professor passes to Butler. From outside, off the mark. Under trailing by 14. This is a two, Pakusevsky. To the middle, right wing, flying his luck from deep. That shot off, now the Heat take it the other way. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. I did catch up with the Thunder's head coach. When Jimmy Butler's name came up, coach talked about his intensity on the floor. Coach told me Jimmy's work rate is exceptional. Nobody out hustles him. We need to be at 110% for all 48 minutes to even keep up with him tonight. Now that, of course, is a cliche, but we know what he meant. Guys? All right, David, thanks. To the paint and stolen by Horford. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Here's Pakusevsky. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Horford against Adebayo. And Adebayo sends it back. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. And it's Butler missing. Thunder trailing by 19. Pass to Roby. Pass to Pakusevsky. Shoots the three. It's Adebayo with the rebound. Autobio's got six rebounds here tonight. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Connects again from distance. And that three-pointer pushes him further up the all-time ladder. 
He does indeed, Greg, and the next mark on his list is the top spot. What a season to remember. That's right, got this game, Junior. All right. Thunder trailing by 20. They've got Horford, and it's Dort in at the small forward spot. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And uh, Miami shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's the professor off target with his three. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. A couple years That's fine. Of nope. making all rookie second team. We knew Gilgis Alexander was good. But Greg, last season he went from good <laughs> to great. I mean, how about almost doubling his scoring average? Became a tremendous rebounder out of the backcourt. He gives you assists and picks up steals as well. Once he gains more strength, this guy could be a perennial all-star. Shoots a fader. Rebound by the Heat. The professor's got rebound number seven for him tonight. An absolute bomb from three-point range. The professor's got 20. And even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. Uh, pick and roll play from Shea Gilgis Alexander really starting to come along. From past the arc, and again, Miami with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Jerome. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Rockets the pass to the professor. From the arc, Dort grabs the miss. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Jerome. The three-pointer off the mark. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Miami Heat. Here's the professor. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. He's got 26. 12 straight points off of three-pointers. And the D looks shell-shocked. With the drive, the pass to Jerome. No good on the three. For Miami, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. No good from the professor. Oklahoma City's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Passes it to Horford. Over Adebayo. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Miami's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Let's it go from deep. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fifth rebound in this one. Jerome passes to Gilgis Alexander. The Thunder with another miss. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. The shot's good from the professor. And how about the court awareness there? Uh, Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Jerome, off target from three-point range. And here are the Heat now. They're on a 12-4 run. No good from the professor. That's one he knows he should have drained. Gilgis Alexander against Dragic. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. 
pass to Ariza. Outside Dragic. Heat moving the ball around. They set the pick. Here he goes. Here's the professor. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander's got six rebounds now in the game. The dish to Horford. Here's Roby. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Just five to shoot. Got a piece of it. Here's the professor. Pass to Butler, 14 feet away, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Butler's got 13. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Horford the pass to Roby. Horford with the screen on Ariza. Adebayo with the ball. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. There's the pass to the professor. Six to shoot. Butler in the corner. The three-pointer no good. Oklahoma City's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. Passes it to Jerome. To the wing right side. Here's Dort, defended by Butler. Dort misses. And uh, Miami shooting in this game, 45%. The professor passes to Butler. Trying to get open is Adebayo. Butler missing again. He started the game scorching the Nets from deep. Three triples in the first period, but none here in the second. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. How about the confidence from three-point range by Shea Gilgis Alexander? Boy, if he likes the look, he will knock it down. And stolen by Horford. And the professor picks up the foul. That's his first foul. That's my bad. And here is Melida. He has five. It's blocked. Here's the professor. Reza passes to Butler. Here's the three. Drills the three-pointer. Butler's got five points now in the quarter. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Miami. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Lock at six. Here's Horford. And finished off by Brown. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, He's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Butler from outside. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Aladon passes to Gilgis Alexander. Good on the bucket. Gilgis Alexander's got 13. So smooth, so pretty off the dribble drive. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work. The professor passes to Butler. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Dort passes to Horford. His three-pointer is off the mark. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. It doesn't go either for Butler. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Out left to the wing. Now here's Melodon. He has five. Here's Hero. Pass to the professor. Loads it up for Adebayo, hammers the alley-oop through. And this is the level of intensity 
Adebayo brings. He's terrific at channeling that energy on the offensive glass. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain. Off the inbound, no good. The Heat shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Here's the professor. He's got 29 points. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. Robinson for three. Thunder with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And Oladipo pulls it down. The Heat shooting 41% from the field here in the second. Here's the professor. In the corner, it's Robinson. Here's the professor. The Heat need to get a shot off. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Miami. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. One fourteen left in the first half of the game. Here's the professor. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. There's a minute left to play here in the half. And for the Thunder, they're shooting a pretty pitiful 25% in this game. Offensively, they can't get anything going. Here's Baisley. He's covered by Bielitsa. Baisley passes to Brock. And it's blocked. In transition, here comes Miami. Here's the professor. Off target from outside. The Thunder shooting just 29% in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. Here's Baisley. No points in the game yet for him. A three connects from three-point range. Here's the professor. He gets it up, and again for three. You can tell. Not even a contest, bro. If you drive and it ain't there, just reset. Junior, I let you know. Let him come to you, Junior. Don't force it if it ain't there. Let's do this, Jay. of orchestrating this offense. I love the way he has been in complete command of the offense. 71, 71. Here's Pakusevsky. 
he's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Hero on the wing along with Butler. Trevor Ariza out there with Adebayo. And it's the professor in at the point guard. Basket counts. Gilgis Alexander's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Thunder. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. No good from the professor. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Launches it. Roby can't hit. The Heat shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Hey, hey, right here. Here's the professor, Gilgis Alexander covering. Here's the professor. And the three off target. And for the Thunder, they're shooting only 27% from the field, looking pretty ugly out there. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. With the floater, and the layup is good. Gilgis Alexander's got 17. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Good, another from three. He's really sniping them from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. No good from 11 feet. Here's the professor. Offline with his three. The Thunder have gone two of four here to start the second half. To the inside. Boom, he jams it straight down. With repetition, you can see the court awareness of Shea Gilgis-Alexander developing. This guy is going to be a problem as a passer. Here's the professor. Gilgis-Alexander covering. Here's the professor. And he's good on the three ball. The professor's got 41. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Roby. Rebound by the professor. Miami's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. From deep. That shot misses. And the Thunder going the other way now. Gilgis Alexander with it. 17 points in the game. Here's the professor. Gilgis Alexander covering. Here's the professor. Connects again from distance. And all game long, the threes have been pouring in for him. There is no stopping his shot. And this is already a game he'll never forget. He's trying to make it a game that the world never forgets. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, thank you. There will be a subtle but significant change on the court this season. Wilson is now the official basketball supplier for the NBA and its affiliated leagues. In fact, they were the association's original supplier starting in 1946. Now, after a nearly four-decade hiatus, Wilson reclaims that position. Guys, back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thank you. Butler, no good. But Thunder have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Horford the pass to Roby. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. High arcing shot. It's not going to go for him. Great tee that time from the professor. Butler in the corner. That doesn't go either for Butler. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Dort. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. To the wing on the left. This one for three. Shots good by Hero. 
three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. And the professor picks up the foul. That's foul number two. Are you kidding me? Terrible call. You look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't yeah, no that kidding. long ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my <laughs> night name on draft night. But Awful call. Right, yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. You were taking the 1991, number 12 overall. Remember it like it was yesterday. The pass to Roby. Here's Dort, defended by Butler. Shot clock at six. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Horford trying to free himself up. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. He's competed for every missed shot. Feels like he's quicker to the basketball than anyone else out there. None can't get it to fall. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Over to the wing. Here's Dort, defended by Butler. Floats it up for Butler, and slam dunk by Good call. Good call. Get ready for this. Elbows in, bro. You got this. One may be short of LeBron James. Achua, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. Here's Jerome. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Now, here's none. Not a lot of room. Hey, you're ready now. You're ready. The professor passes to Butler. Miami no good on that time either. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. And the Heat making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Here's Baisley. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. In the corner, it's Robinson. Pass to the professor. Hey, 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 right here. Wants to get it to Robinson and does. That one goes in. Robinson's got 11 points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Dort misses. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's the professor. He's got 44. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Autobio. And he could not get that one to go. Oh. Got this, bro. Splash. That's fine. That's fine. Nico, he's checked in for Miami. Gotta make sure you follow for the through, heat. bro. Jake Lehman's checked in for Otto Bayo. Bayalitsa comes in for Achua. Andre Igudawa is checked in for Victor Oladipo. And the professor subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. We've got Gilgis Alexander. And it's Roby in at the four slot. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Shoots from 12. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The Heat have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. You know, he's flat fueling their success. Most of the offense has gone through him. Here's Jerome. Well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump. 
when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. And there's the drive, and he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And it's in there. Gilgis Alexander's got 21 in the game. Great concentration through the contact. Gilgis Alexander, excellent focus. Here's the professor. Another one goes. Incredible. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. That doesn't go either for Gilgis Alexander. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Here's the professor. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Y'all got to stop following me if you want to stay in this thing. Nah, no, that's fine. I meant to miss that one. What a tremendous showing from the three-pointer all through this game. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Goran Dragic has checked in for Miami. Brown drives in, and the shot goes in. Miami's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Hey, hey, it's right here. Here's the professor, and good! I'm gonna keep going at him. You all just like all watching me shoot. Over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. That free throw good from the professor. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Oklahoma City shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Tipped away. In transition, here comes Miami. Oh! oh my goodness. And he jams it with authority. Wow, we are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Pass to Hutchison. Back to Brown. Beyond the arc. Rebound by Bialica. Bialica's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's the professor. And it's Baisley with the rebound. Greg, the NBA under Adam Silver has been aggressive looking for ways to enhance the product and attract fans. Where do you fall on that point? Push the envelope or don't rock the boat or maybe somewhere in between? I think it might be somewhere in between. These days, people's attentions can be pulled in so many different directions. I think they're smart to not rest on their laurels and, and to continue to try to evolve. But with that evolution, sometimes it's not going to come over as well as they would like. But I, I'm a fan of some of the experiments, I should say, that we've tried thus far. And I hope the league continues to push the envelope. That's fine. Miss it. All right, all right. Miss it. Got a messed up shot. Too strong, too strong. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Heat. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so now, on the year, they'll have 35 wins to their credit. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two- Oh, oh the whoa, power on that throwdown! Goodness. Wow. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Brown outside. And the pass to Mikhailu. Brown outside. Just four to shoot. Passes to Baisley. Over Bielitsa. The Thunder with another miss. 
The fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. My bad. My bad. Here's Brown. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were wait. Junior, yeah. Nikki needs a few minutes. Come over here. All right, cool. Hey, Nikki. Hi. Got Junior. Yes, Junior. All right. Hey. Are hey. you ready to do this? Let's do it. Okay, cool. Ready? Great, great. We're on in three, two. Okay, so you have had a fantastic start early on in this season, and your name has come up quite a bit hmm. for the all-star roster discussions. Um, is, be honest, is that something that's in the back of your mind? <laughs> oh, sure it is. Yeah, um, I know I got a lot of fans, and I know they love to see your boys an all-star. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not gonna be one of those guys that campaigns to be an all-star. That's weak. That's okay. Corny. Yeah, that's not really my style. Okay. Um, uh, so, but uh, all that aside, here it is, the one and only time. <laughs> I really like it if you voted for me to be an all-star. It'd be great. I know I'll show out there on the court, and I know you guys would love to see me, your boy, out there. So yeah, vote for me. <laughs> that's gonna be the only time I do that, though. A very kind and sincere uh, one-time plea uh, for the all-star position. Not a plea. <laughs> request. Request. Humble request. <laughs> An all-star campaign. Thanks, Junior. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think everyone should vouch for themselves. Okay, back to you guys. Junior, great work on the boards tonight. Can you talk a little about that? Yeah, Kristen, uh, that's just plain old desire. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And what about technique? Yeah, yeah, you can work on your technique, and I do, but, um, you know, me, um, I was born with this, man. Like, came out the womb with this. I was just given a sight where you can know where the ball's gonna bounce, and that's hard to teach. Plus, you know, as uh, Kawhi says, poor man gets paid. So, shout out to my boy Kawhi, appreciate that. 